why I told her we're being very careful. I know. What, what we do here because we have people living in this township that feel both ways about this. Dave, I got 10 minutes and I'm going to turn the meeting. Yeah, here's the thing. Define what a setback is because you're being filmed. Define a setback. Define the minimum setbacks. I do not know what they are yet. Depending on the road. I do not know what that is. That, right at this moment, I do not know what the setback along our township roads would be. Okay, Chris Fowler said it was the right of way. Said so what? Right, that's his right. It's right away, Joe. Yeah, they have okay. to set back from the They right. have to be set back from the right. Yeah. right. Yeah. I just didn't understand and, that. Well. And the right of way on our township road is very road rare. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and, and we don't, you know, the county commissioners have that list, you know, of what the right of ways are on each township road. Yeah, some of these county roads have a, a 40 foot right of way from the center of the road back. And then that setback would have to be beyond that right of way, you know, of course. So they could come up to the right of way and be back as far as they want to at their discretion. Is that correct? Would you agree? Or I don't know what the power siding board's setback is. They would say that when I talked to Bill, he called after him. He said it was negotiable that they had, didn't have anything. And that's why I called Chris to see what it was. And then that's why I ask you so you could define it to the people that are watching on that camera, not to me. I know. Setback is how far back they have to put their fence in their screening. So they never specify. And I never hear. Yeah. So when you get a specifica specification, you enforce that when something is negotiated. Okay. And that's one thing. I think that could be negotiated with well, the way they call. And, and anything and everything with these solar companies are negotiable from my understanding. And I want to negotiate as much as we possibly can. And they will allow us as, as council trustees and elected officials. These guys don't have anything to say. It's, up, it's on me. They, they said it's up to you, Dave. You got eight minutes. Now. <laughs> I love the time. These maps are inaccurate. When I talked to Bill, he said they're moving, the inter interjects are moving south. Do yes. you have any definitions of what that means, moving south, and what it will <coughs> give up from the north? I do not. I have requested that he share with the township at the earliest convenience their rendering or their placement of panels. And he says they will not do that until they are done with all their survey work. He says of, he's told me that they are still in the process of finishing up their survey work. And originally the project was supposed to be out here on the, the transmission line that runs through the middle of the township over here. And because with PJM that transmission line is at capacity or does not have enough capacity to hold that project, the substation and everything has been shifted to 130 or to the 138 KV lines that run that they're redoing down at the Allensburg area. So they have shifted the substation from being over in this part of the township to that down there. Originally they said they came here to set up in the, the general area over here and this would be the center of it. Yes. Now the center of it is in Allensburg, or the substation is going to be in Allensburg. So they are Naturally, and I have I have made the statement, you know, that you know we do have a lot more. We have residents everywhere in the community, and as they are planning to, and placing those panels, to take that into consideration. And at what time does their the contract that they have? What it is? Do they time out? Is it 2022, 2023? If, that, if they get setback, setback in the process. That is with the contract between them and the landowners, is my understanding. Well, I mean, they have an option on land, but I mean, to keep their subsidies, there's I, a start date and there's a date they have to be at, at a certain stage where they're timed up for the subsidies. In summer 2022 and summer 2023, do you have any knowledge of that? I, have, I don't have any knowledge of that, Dave, of what they're, this is, that, those are questions that's way above the township at the moment. Okay. Now, I am waiting for an answer from the power siding board. I give them the date. I told them to pick two or three dates, and we're working on it, getting them down here with Matt, maybe a couple of 
numbers of that, and it's going to be done. Lynchburg School has agreed to put it in. Here. Lynchburg School has agreed to put it in the gymnasium. When we get a date, I'll give it to you. So that okay. they will be down here and answer these questions. And I'll tell you, Nathan, what yeah. it is. I mean, these are these are questions that really pertain to the high power siding board. Um, and, you know, the high power siding board was put in place in 1972 to regulate all major energy coming into the state of Ohio and. and so that is that is why the process is in place, and, and that is you know, and we're still trying to find that information. A lot of that stuff that you asked is stuff that that we want to know too. Right. One other thing, if this is kind of off the thing, if you have somebody that has fuel tile out and they claim that their neighbor is damaged or drains, does that come under the trustees? No. Just fences. So line fence. Line fence disputes on who. Who, who repairs fences, um, that lies on township trustees. But I encourage everyone to also engage with soil and water and, and because soil and water should be a part of this process of you know trying to help mitigate any erosion or drainage issues that, that could come from these these projects. No soil, soil and water. Soil and and who's over that now? Uh, Chucky Williams is the technician. I don't know what Chucky Williams' official title is, but he does a lot of the field work. Pam. He's district, district, district technician. District technician. Mm -hmm. um, Pam Bushelman is the office, uh, runs the office and the day to day stuff. And then they have a board, an elected board too, that, that can participate. So, wetlands, there's been people in this group that uh, have questions about wetlands that would address the soil office about wetlands, yes. not the trustees. No. Okay. no, that is nothing of the, I mean, really township trustees, and you know, and I kind of have the definition, but I mean, the township local government is, our main focus, our main job is normally the roads and ditches and cemeteries and making sure we have fire boards and hospitals and you know those those are our main main things but you know this comes to our township we we are here to participate and even though it is not regulated at the township level we are engaging in it as much as we where we see that we can okay. I have nothing else nothing Do you else have a date on that one Richard? no i won't until they're supposed to let me know more he's trying to get enough members together and that's a hard thing to do is get dates. Yeah, if he brings, if he brought bring himself, okay, that's one thing. But when you try to put together a team, then you got to get a, a date that everybody can agree upon. And as soon as I get that, Nathan will know, and the school will know, and we'll announce on the. But they have to get all that together. I mean, that's that's a balancing act. And then that way, these guys don't have to listen to a bunch of this. And we'll all sit in together and get information. Yes, uh, uh, again, I mean, I encourage you guys to, you know, to be in contact with us and then, um, you know, express your, your feelings and your concerns over this. I, I, you know, I encourage you to, to go to the county commissioners and, and, you know, express your concerns to them. Um, and, and your state state representative, which we've done, you know, we've, we've had conversations with him. Um, engage engage the community because this is really, you know, there are positives that could come out of this. I mean, if you look at the pilot program and, and some of those, um, but there there's real concerns here too. We want to make sure that we do this right. And we are in contact with Senator Peterson, getting him to come down and do the same thing. You'll have that notice. If, if and when that happens. That sounds great. Is there anything else that uh, Frank got another comment? I yes. just have a question. Uh, do you you know where the school please, system stands? Please put your mask down so we hear you. Do you know where the school system stand on East Lynchburg or East Glen? No. We have not spoken with the, we've not been in contact as township trustees. We don't have much to do with the schools. 
Um, but I can I can tell you, you know, when it comes to the pilot program, uh, the schools will get the same breakdown. You know, how your property taxes are broken down, divided down, is the same way that that, that seven thousand dollars that goes. Uh, I talked to Mr. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And so I mean, the the school system, you know, could could uh, have a lot of a lot of income from. Yeah, they can benefit so, from it you know, considerably. I think. I don't know. They're definitely not against it. I think they're kind of standing by. Yeah, we we have you know we've not talked to them and we have no control over that. That's you know that's I, out of our out of our area. That's not not enforceable by any law. But aren't you after what Bill Foley said ever be? I my yeah uh, yeah the power siding board is the is the one that would. If they don't pay their pilot, my understanding the power siding board would pull their certificate to operate. Mm -hmm. But if they, you know, and I, I, that's that's above my pay grade. And I don't know. I, I don't know. Saying, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Stace. There is no law because when I was with the commissioner, when they yeah. called me before this meeting, yeah. I told them if you don't understand this, you need to go get the county attorney and understand where you stand with this. Well, and I think. I think everybody needs to understand how these projects are taxed on both sides. You know, there's a pilot program. There's different ways these things can be taxed. So I've got one question for you. Folks. How many of you folks were at the Lynchburg meeting? I was at work. Huh? I was at work. And I watched it. Okay. So I think you did so. What it's worth to you. For one, I appreciate, and I'm sure Nathan does, because he took a meeting. <laughs> I would appreciate a meeting like this where we, we can talk and listen, and somebody's not screaming at somebody when you can't understand it. Uh, we kind of halfway expected that here tonight, and it, it hadn't happened. And, and all you folks are neighbors, you know we. It's good to talk to you when we don't have to scream and yell. It's just nice. So thank you. 